Hi all, welcome to second part of the video lecture on ER model. See in the first part we saw what is uh, BR model and what is its relevance, right? So what is its conceptual design and it is one of the popular model for conceptual design and then we saw on example that is company database that we will be seeing throughout the um, lectures. So now let us uh, explore each terms one by one. So basically in the diagram also you saw something like entities, right? So entity, so typically we expressed like it can be an employee entity or it can be a department entity or a project entity like that. Some rectangular box we saw, right? Anyway, we are going to see it. So what is an entity? Entity is a basic concept that ER model represents. Okay, so which is a thing. It can be a thing or an object in the real world or the mini world, right? It can be an object or a thing in the mini world with an independent existence okay so uh, employee is on entity so that is independently existing department is another entity so like that an entity may be an object with a physical existence sometimes there will be a physical existence like if we are talking about an entity car entity or a house entity or an employee entity so they are all uh, a particular person and all these are all physical uh, having some physical existence right now sometimes these uh, employee I mean this entity can cannot have any physical existence that also possible so this is uh, the employee I mean ex entity with the physical existence sometimes the it uh, may be just a conceptual thing so there is no physical existence right for example a job right so you can't uh, see it physically a university course or a company so these things are examples for conceptual existence entities with the conceptual existence each entity has attribute now what is attribute attribute is nothing but the particular properties of the entity for example if it is a employee entity you know what are all the properties associated with the employee each employee will possess some something called a name of the employee age of the employee address of the employee salary what kind of job he possesses. so these are all different attributes of the employee entity so hope you get an idea right so different properties of the employee entity is what we call as te uh, technically as entity so uh, attribute so on terminology is entity uh, so the, the one the uh, it can be an object or a thing uh, from the real world or the mini world and the properties of this entities is what we call as the attribute of the terminologies are clear a particular entity will uh, entity will have a value for each so if you are looking at the attribute uh, take a particular person employee he will have a name age and all right so different so th that is called the value of that particular um, entity uh, sorry particular attribute of that entity the attribute values that describe each entity become major part of the story so if you are looking at the database as a whole that is collection of values for the attribute right so that is what we are keeping <coughs> for example if you are looking at the employee entity even you can think about uh, attributes like uh, name is an attribute address is an attribute age is an attribute and maybe home phone number and th these are all the values for the attribute if you are looking at this particular entity the name of the entity is john smith, smith right this is the value and this name is something called as the attribute attribute or the property and the property is assuming this value okay similarly address is another property or attribute that is assuming this value age is another attribute or property which is assuming 55 as the value similarly for the company what is uh, name of the company and what is uh, for that particular company this is a name so like that so this is the general uh, attribute or property of this company um, entity and this is a particular um, company entity value right so that uh, that about the example now let's explore this attributes more okay so attribute is basically property of an entity now there are different types of attributes that is what we are going to see starting with the uh, composite versus symbol or atomic attribute as the name says it's very clear to understand symbol or atomic means you can't divide it further if you can divide that attribute further into smaller smaller pieces you can call it as a composite thing because it is composed of many small subparts yeah that's all so what is a composite attribute it can be divided into smaller subpart it can be further divided if you can't divide it further you can call it as a symbol or atomic so attributes that are not divisible is what we call as the symbol or atomic attribute for example if you are looking at the address attribute right so i am i can call it as generally as address but if you are um, seeing there are different subparts so any address will compose of some street address address of the actual street where, where that house belongs to uh, right that location belongs to now uh, in which city this particular address 
is residing what about the state what is the zip number or the pin code okay so for example uh, like uh, in us and all you can see the street address something like uh, some number street number so this is uh, typically a street number so so this textbook basically examples and all based on some um, us or uk like that they are taking examples so uh, you may see something different from our place but anyways you got an idea right so this is something like a street name name of the street and a unique number for that and this is about the um, city where it belongs to okay so this is a city Houston something and uh, the state is actually uh, says texas and the pin code is something like this okay so like that so uh, so the address i am calling it as a single attribute but it is composite in the sense i can divide it into this 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 is parts now if you are looking at you can think about a composite attribute itself in a hierarchy for example this street address is a sub part of the address attribute okay so i have the address attribute for the address attribute i have a sub part that is street address another sub part that is city okay and another support that is state and another support that is the zip zip code okay now if you are looking at the street address that itself you can divide it further okay so the street address can be further divided like a street number like we seen the street name and sometimes there are different apartments inside the street so what about the specific apartment number like that so the value of the composite attribute is the concatenation of the values of the all the component symbol attributes so it will be like that right now the composite attribute are useful in modeling um, in which a user sometimes sometimes a user is interested on a um, the composite attribute as a whole but sometimes he is an, uh, interested only on a particular component of it so the application is like that sometimes i want to know in which city he belongs to so from the composite attribute only focus on that city support and uh, display its value or in which state it belongs to say texas like that sometimes the user is interested sometimes the user want to know the complete address so both are needed so that is why we are keeping it as a uh, single i mean composite attribute okay so this is a hierarchical structure this is what i told you like the address is a composite attribute right which is composed of or which can further divided into street address city state and zip now this street address itself is a composite sub part which can further divided into number street and apartment so here you can see a hierarchy of composite attribute so like that you can go for any any number of levels so as you go more levels it will be more complex to handle now the second classification is like a single valued versus multi valued attribute that is uh, as the name says how many values this particular attribute attribute can have for example if it is age for a particular employee how many age he will be having only one right so that is single valued but if i am saying about a mobile number or something people will be keeping more than one phone numbers so that time it is a multi valued attribute maybe at the same department is located in multiple locations so the location uh, attribute of the department may have multiple values how many calls has a particular um, person undergone there will be multiple values for some people some people may not have any value so like that so that is multi valued attribute okay so hope you get the idea so most of the attributes have a mostly it is single value um, such as uh, attributes are called for example age right so age name like that so how many age how many name this person can possess like that uh, now if you are looking at uh, some examples like a colors attribute of a car how many color a car can have sometimes a car is of multi color or um, uh, two tone cars are possible in that case the color attribute itself you have to keep two different colors that you know right and similarly the college degree of a person similarly one person may have a, uh, may not have any college degree and another person may have a single college degree and a third person may have a two or more degrees like that right so the different people have a different number of values now different number of values for the particular attribute i mean college degree attribute so that is another example given so such attributes are what we call as the multi valued attributes a multi valued attribute uh, may have a lower and upper bounds to uh, constrain the number of values allowed for each individual entity for example if you are looking at the colors i am saying that any car can have at most two colors so 
the range of values this color field can uh, attribute can assume is minimum one color and maximum two color like that so like that you can uh, restrict the number of values this multi valued attribute can have a minimum how many values and maximum how many value depends on the application that uh, uh, lower and upper bound of this particular multi valued attribute will vary yeah that about it so this is a small video so uh, there are further class so what we seen is the classification of the attribute what is attribute what is entity okay so you you understood what is entity entity is the real world object we are interested right object or thing it can be of uh, conceptual thing or it can be a uh, Uh, something having a physical existence and uh, what is attribute attribute is nothing but properties of the entity different properties of the entity what we call as attributes in this attributes one classification is composite versus atomic or single symbol right then another one is single valued versus multi valued okay now one more thing uh, we are going to see in the next video lecture is stored versus derived Okay, these are our main things, and now some more things like what is a key attribute, like that we will see in our future videos. Okay, so this is this this about the main classification. Yeah, that about it. Thanks for watching.